oh dear, look, oh no, oh, you know, she's feeling very ill. Wouldn't it be very tragic if she, oh, I don't know, got pregnant? Hi everybody, it's Kayla, and welcome back to the Steele family. So today, it is Riley Steele's birthday. I know, but, but, I'm not aging her up until next week. I know, weird stuff, like today we're gonna go out on a date and do fun daytime things, and then next week we're gonna have like a wild teen party and age her up, blah, blah, blah. But today, not, this is Emma, not Riley. <laughs> we'll go back to Riley for a second. Uh, today we're gonna have Riley go out on a date with her boyfriend, Flynn, which is very exciting, because one, she looks like super cute right now. Let's just get a good look at her. I mean, you know, maybe not like this angle, but she's just a really cute sim and I'm so excited for her birthday. Oh my god, how did she get so old? By the way, she was born in my game real time over a year ago and she's still a teen. Ah, but we're gonna go out on a date right now, right here, right now. We're gonna ask what is his face, Ricky, on a date with us and it's gonna be such a good time. We're gonna go to Sam Myshuno. Um, I work just because I want to go explore some more. And I think we're going to go out and just kind of get like some snacks maybe. Uh, we're going to go grab some food stand things probably. I want to go to Uptown again, but like we just went there. So maybe the fashion. <gasps> we could go to the art gallery. Oh, that'd be so cute. Oh my God. Okay, yes. Art gallery confirmed. We're going to the art gallery and we're gonna get food stand snacks and just have a good time. Why? I don't know, because I want to, I guess. I mean, we could also go to this lot that I go to literally every time for a proposal, but I'm not gonna do that. Oh, they're not getting engaged, by the way. I don't know why I said that proposal thing. That they're not getting, they're teens. Mm -mm. We gotta get on this marriage train like real soon because her last name is Steel Still and Steel Still. Steel, ha! Adult film stars, we don't want that. If you don't, if you didn't catch the last episode, I talked a little bit about how there's a person in real life called Riley Steele, and I was it, it was brought to my attention from a person on Tumblr that Riley Steele is a, a real person that happens to be a celebrity of sorts, and we don't want anything to do with her because this is a family channel, so I'm just gonna leave it at that. Uh, but we're gonna go, and I think hop on down to the fashion, no, 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 we're gonna go to the arts quarter, like I said, the, the art gallery, uh, and we're gonna hang out down here with our new boyfriend, I mean our old boyfriend, but you know, new boyfriend, I guess, ugh. Also, I want to make sure we don't go too long today because I want to keep the party next episode. <laughs> so tonight, we need to end at like 4 o'clock sim time, all right? And if we don't, well, I don't, we're, listen, <laughs> we got to keep things short, all right? I mean, we're going to keep going for like 26 minutes real time, but like sim time, 4 o'clock cut off, all right? That's, that's the deal. Let's go ahead and do our first joke of the day coming in from Inkling Gamer, and it goes... <laughs> Joke of the day, I wanted to make a pants pun, but I fell short. <laughs> get it? Because shorts, pants, shorts are pants, get it? Because hmm. I've heard that my over-explaining jokes is endearing, but I don't know about that. I mean, I think it's endearing, but I don't think that you guys do. It's kind of annoying, but that's okay. You know, annoying is the new awesome or something, I guess. I, I think I've heard that before, right? Yeah, annoying is the new awesome. I should write that down. <laughs> Just kidding. Uh, that's not the episode title. I need to start working on clickbait some more because these episodes, they could really use, you know, some more clicks. Uh, I don't know how to do a clickbait title for this episode. Um, something like, what would be shocking and make all of you click on the video? I don't know, like, teen pregnancy shock, but or teen pregnancy scandal, even though no one's pregnant and we only have a lot of teens. Just kidding, no one's... <gasps> Listen, I have briefly mentioned that I will never have a teen pregnancy in my game, and here's why, Okay. I'm not going to shame a person who gets pregnant as a young person, but I don't want to encourage that on my YouTube channel because I feel as though, one, I am 17. Riley Steele, I feel, is 17, and I can't picture myself having a child, and so I don't want my Sims to have children. You understand what I'm saying? Also, I'm gonna add Flynn to my household real fast just because I think it would make my life a lot easier to just deal with him that way. So, we're gonna do that. Hey, Flynn, you should tell Riley she looks beautiful. <gasps> Take a picture together, oh my god, oh my god, yes, yes, birthday, this is so adorable. This is like their last hurrah as a teen. You know, I pressed the M key. You see this? You cannot travel at a social event, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, I pressed the M key by accident, but it didn't work because I can't travel during a social event. You guys, this is my favorite interaction in the whole game. That's not even a joke. I think it's so adorable. I wish that people would take selfies with me. I don't know. Just kidding. I, I don't want to take selfies. I don't like selfies that much. But look at these two, you guys. He looks kind of weird. 
let's be honest here, he does look kind of weird. We'll need to work on that a little bit, but like it's, they're still so cute. I just, huh. all right, now, we don't really have any reason to be at this stupid art gallery. I came here for lunch. I wanted to get some food stand snacks and it looks, oh my God, look, this is the best food stand I think for them to, it's less, it's not as weird as some of the other ones. Like I don't think they would come out here and get like some random, full, like, you know, I think that like coming out for tofu dogs is totally a thing they would do, right? No, that, what a lame thing to do on her birthday. Flint, you know what? He's a teenager. He can't afford to get anything fancy from like fancy food stands or getting hot dogs. So he's gonna come get a hot dog. I think she's gonna order a veggie burger just because that's what I would get at this particular instance. And I'm not saying that I'm her, but I'm saying that I'm her. You know what I mean? Just kidding. I'm nothing like Riley Steele. I might be really obnoxious and arrogant, but um, I don't have a lot of evil friends like this. I feel like this, she's got a way different life than me. She's living out like the worst version of my life. Oh, paintings. <gasps> Oh, <laughs> nothing good here. Um, I mean, I kind of like this monkey painting. You know, wouldn't it be kind of cute if, like, we put that up in their kid's first bedroom? I mean, how adorable would it be if, like, Flynn bought it for her as a joke on their last date before they age up into young adults? So, like, on her 18th birthday, he bought her this painting as a joke, and then when she has a baby, he's like, look, remember this? And then they put it in the kid's room. Oh, my God, guess what I'm going to do later? buy that monkey painting, that's for sure. Okay, Flynn, I'm so excited about this. My baby's got old somehow. Huh, it's her birthday. Also, her hair really needs to load in. Okay, so I know that it's not like actually her birthday, but um, we're not playing for 34 more sim days until she ages up, so I'm gonna go ahead and age her up today. Um, also, ooh, I wanted to really, hold on. Where are Ricky's parents? <laughs> he has parents. But they're, uh, they aren't showing Ricky's parent list. That's unfortunate. Also, Meredith isn't technically related to her half-siblings because I didn't set it up that way. And so Meredith um, has no siblings, technically. So our cousins are like our fake cousins. They aren't our real cousins. You get what I'm saying? Catch them adrift. <gasps> He's talking to Pippa. What are you doing? Stop it. Stop it. Pippa's here and you're going to talk to her? What? You're leaving Riley sitting alone on her 18th birthday so you can go talk to her biggest enemy. Why? Why? I bet they're plotting something. Because Pippa is her ex-best friend. Maybe Pippa's coming. To oh, they're not plotting anything. They're fighting. Okay. <laughs> well, <laughs> just kidding then. I was, maybe they're like planning her birthday party, but I don't think that's happening right now because I don't think that this is a very pleasant conversation. Oh, well, maybe not. Maybe I was wrong. Um, you know what? Okay, listen, I don't like her very much, but at least she's kind of pretty, right? Like, she's got something going for her. I'm trying to, I'm trying to make this feel better. It's not better. It's nothing's okay. Let's be honest here. I really dislike her. Also, okay, career-wise, when Riley ages up, I would really, oh, you need to pee. Okay, buddy, you know what? Lucky you, you are just, oh, look, you went pee. Congrats, you're good now. Stop talking to the demon. We don't want to talk to a spawn of Satan right now. We're trying to have a date with Riley Steele, okay? It's way more important. Um, I guess she could also be considered the spawn of Satan depending on who you ask, but you know, it's fine. Um, also, I'd really like to have her go be mean to some other people. Just for funsies, like I want to have her just go tear up the town and like insult somebody. Like maybe we could insult this, oh, we don't like this chick very much, huh? Oh, I was gonna say they can come insult her artwork, but it looks like we already did. <laughs> Why is she like this? Riley, you need to be nicer to people. I mean, okay, well, we could come have... Actually, you know what? Flint's clearly not going to come haggle the prices down. So we could have him... I mean, we'll have him do it. Come haggle the prices. Get me a cheap monkey painting to put in your child's bedroom, your future child's bedroom. This is very important to me. 25% um, off. Heck yeah, purchase the small painting. Let's go. Let's go. We got a monkey painting. Okay, so thank you for purchasing small painting. Good, and we could get some produce, but I don't really have a need for any produce because we aren't producing anything. Um, that doesn't make any sense. I think that my time here in the fashion, whatever arts quarter is done, not fashion, arts quarter is done. And so we're gonna head off. Oh, my date's not done. I need to work on that. I don't wanna have a failed date. Okay, so I, what we're gonna do is we're gonna come out to a really beautiful spot and do some really beautiful interactions and try and get my, my points. Would this be pretty? Let's hold on. Can I walk down here? Oh, this is so beautiful. Ooh, do it for the thumbnails, Kayla. I mean, this is like a, a thumbnail background for my future vids, you know? Nice, okay, and we're gonna have them come down here, I think, and just have a quick chat. You know, just, did I, is she gonna come with me? 
Is that chick? Okay, good. She's not. <laughs> We're going to come just talk to Riley Steele. Maybe be like, hey, look at my muscles, you know? And then <laughs> joke about old times. Remember when they were, okay, guys, let's do a quick like walk down memory lane. Remember when they were children and they lived together because our parents were roommates and we lived together because we had that whole incident where like Meredith and Ricky broke up for a while and we lived with Flynn's dad and his girlfriend at the time. And then they lived together as kids for, like, a few years. That's kind of weird when you think about it. Because they, like, were kind of sort of, like, cousins slash siblings for a long time. But not not by blood. Just by, like, familiar relationships, okay? They weren't actually related. They just lived together for a while when they were kids. Oh, boy. I mean, their parents are best friends. It's fine. So it's really cute that they're getting together now. And they're going to get married soon. And I don't know what I'm going to do. Because they're going to age up next episode. And then I honestly, I'm so down with just getting engaged right away. Like, we've been dating for long enough that I feel like it's okay. Um, but also, I want to get Pippa and Andrew together because I want her to get pregnant, like, real quick. So, like, the day, the second Pippa... Guys. Guys. We could age up Pippa and Andrew right now because they could be a little bit older than these two and then we can get Pippa pregnant today. We, I don't want to move too fast, but, like, listen. This is episode, what, 23? They've been teens for 23 episodes. Okay, and I feel like, just hear me out, I feel like we could totally, in exchange promise rings, oh my god, I don't want to do that though, we're going to share a secret with her, um, I feel like we could really age up Pippa today, and that's not even a joke, like, I think that we could get her pregnant today, because the, the plan originally was to get Pippa pregnant, make her have the baby, and then they'll get married to Andrew, and then divorce Andrew in the future and then get with someone else later down the line when she, cause I feel like she needs to pay her dues for being evil. And so she's gonna have a real sucky life as a young adult. Cause right now she made everyone else's lives miserable as teens. And so when she ages up into a young adult, her life's gonna suck like a lot. And then she'll get better. Like young mom, you know, has this cute kid, hopefully cute, we never know. And then she just, it's gonna get better for her in the future, but like down the line. But right now I want her to suffer. And that's the goal. Oh, look at these tiny ones, they're my babies. Okay, sorry. Um, we could, guys, <laughs> we could so age up Pippa, like, right now, okay? That's not even a joke. Promise to dedicate I want to get this date done, at least, and then I will do it. I will so do it. Okay. Guys. <laughs> guys. Are you excited about this? I want to get my six interactions, and then I'm going to stop. Hold on. Oh, wait. I need to have Riley talking to him, not the other way around, because she... Gosh, dang it. <laughs> Take a picture together. I wanted to end the day. Oh, my God. I made a grave mistake. I made a grave mistake. Okay, just hurry up and get these things done. Um, and then we will go and become best friends forever. <gasps> They're gonna become best friends forever. Oh my God, my, my babies are gonna be... Okay, so we're still gonna get Pippa pregnant, but that's after they become best friends. So, and you know what? Listen, we could technically age them up tomorrow night. Like if we don't have the party in time today, we can age them up tomorrow. Like it won't be a big deal. I mean, I know I just took a screenshot of this, but I kind of want to do it again because they're so cute. All right, so forget the time limits. We're just going to have our, do whatever we need to today. And then we'll just do the next things tomorrow. I guess it makes more sense to have like a rockin' birthday party on a Saturday night, Saturday night instead of Sunday. But you know what? That's okay. We can have it on Sunday too, if we want to. That's all that matters. I, these guys, you guys, I just like to watch them be cute sometimes because they're so adorable and it makes, <gasps> they're becoming best friends. Oh my God. They are best friends forever now. I'm so happy for them. She's never had a best friend because all her other best friends betrayed her. And now she's got a real best friend and I'm going to end the date. So there goes that. We're going to go ahead and hop into Pippa's house. I keep playing with her, I know. But listen, guys, I know this is moving really fast, but we've been talking about ruining her life forever, okay? And now she's aging up. Pippa, get in. Oh my god, she has a brother that's gonna be the age of her own child. <gasps> no, because her brother is a baby right now, and he's gonna be a baby when her baby is born. That is super sketch, okay? Just saying that your brother is the same age. Of oh, the baby's uncle is its age, but it's oh, gross, gross. Okay, we're gonna go into Pippa's household and we're gonna. Oh my god, I need to get Andrew in her household too because we're gonna try and move forward with this quickly. Um, Oh my, can you believe I'm doing this right now? <laughs> what am I doing? And I can actually call the episode like pregnancy scandal. And oh my God, I hate myself. I'm gonna write down pregnancy scandal right now though. That's not even a joke. Pregnancy scandal. It's not even clickbait, okay? The goal was to have clickbait, but it's not clickbait. You're welcome. Oh, and we're gonna have what's his face, Terrence date Matilda, but he's gonna be young. Okay, Terrence isn't his, he's his younger brother. 
we originally said that Terrence was Andrew's twin brother. No, he's just his younger brother. Like, they're only a couple years apart, but because we want him to date Matilda until those teens, so we gotta, you know. Anyway, we're gonna go ahead and age them up now. <laughs> oh my god, I can't believe that's not the right household. They live here, right? Oh my god, can you believe I'm doing this right now? Yikesies, and her mom is home. That's so icky. I mean, we're gonna age her up. I don't want to throw her a party because I feel like she doesn't deserve one. Oh wait, the party last night was her birthday party. Duh. Okay, I mean, not technically, but like we can just say it was her birthday party. It was her birthday party, you know? It was her birthday and now she's aging up. Okay, let's go ahead and do our next joke of the day coming in from Jen Hogue. Is that your name? I hope so. <laughs> what does Beethoven do in his grave? Decompose. Oh, get it? Because Beethoven writes music and well, he's dead now. So he wrote music, but get it? Okay, I'm sorry. I need to stop. We're going to go ahead and bake her a cake though and age up Pippa. And um, who's going to make the cake? I guess we'll have the mom make the cake. That's icky. So we'll have her come in here. It's not loading in. You can see those quality textures. <laughs> Cook me a gourmet meal of, oh, I don't know. I guess a black and white cake. Congrats. You get yourself some gourmet cake. Oh, look at her ex. She hates her ex-husband. That's iconic. Listen, we don't like Penelope very much, but I do think she's a real nice lady. And we used to be good friends with, I think that Penelope and Meredith were really good friends back in the day. Uh, but that is apparently no longer because their daughters absolutely despise each other. Whoops. Okay, that's fine. But Pippa, come talk to your boyfriend. Actually, you know, I want to... Ooh, we were going to age up Darcy too, weren't we? We could do that right now too. Look, it's like a mass age up of Sims. That's perfect. See, it all works out nicely. Um, good thing we got this cake going on. <laughs> we're going to age up all the Sims. How far along in her... Because we could just, we don't even have to make her blow up candles. We can just go into cast and then be like, yeah, she's a teen now. Um, also with these, actually, we could so easily, yeah. You know what, guys? I'm just, forget the cake. I'm just going to make them become, like, the next lifespan in cast. Because they are not, like, super far along in their teenhood. And so I can just be like, you know what? Switch a Rooney into young adults. And then they're, like, a little bit older than Riley. Get it? Because it looks like they've only been teens for like two seconds, even though they've been teens for like 23 episodes. So, oh, yikes. I play, I obviously get really far in my LPs, right? Like, it's fine, you know? So we're going to age her up into a young adult. Look at Pippa, you guys. She looks completely not different at all. Okay, well, she's looking great. She's, first of all, not lazy. That's the worst trait ever for her. She's the opposite of lazy. She's perfectionist. And I think she's definitely a snob. And I think she's definitely mean. Uh, but then Andrew is also a young adult now. He loves the outdoors. He is romantic. And I'm going to go ahead and say that he's non-committal. That works. And I'm going to age up Darcy. And we're going to see what she looks like. Darcy Parfait, my good old buddies. Um, ooh, <laughs> she looks like Pippa. I'm going to just... You know, okay, she could be a lot worse. Now, I don't know what hair to give her. Oh my god, I don't want to do this right now. Like, <laughs> I have no desire to make over Darcy Parfait right now. It's like the least of my con Oh, I kind of like this hair. I'll say the least of my concerns and I got distracted. Uh, but Darcy Parfait, I don't know what she does with her hair, to be honest with you. I Maybe this one, I keep wanting to use- Oh, no, 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 no. Um, maybe she cut it? It's not very good for her face shape. I don't know what Darcy Parfait does with her hair, to be honest with you. Um, Darcy Parfait has milk braids. Oh, no, she doesn't. Uh, I don't know what to do. <laughs> I shouldn't be allowed to do this right now. Maybe she has this hair. Darcy Par No. No. Maybe she has this hair. Actually, that kind of suits her. We could dye it blonde. <sighs> Just kidding. Oh, no, no, no. She can have this hair, Darcy Parfait. I don't know what kind of clothes she wears, guys. I am so not the one to be doing this right now. I'm going to give her a style look. I know, super lame, but like, just for this, this time being. And I'll fix her off camera. I will. She's a loner. Oh, she's a nice girl. Oh, ooh. That is not good makeup. Okay. Um, I think that she is going to be... Uh, she's, um, a loner, and I don't know, Darcy Parfait is a loner. We were gonna have her possibly date Mason, weren't we? I don't know. I, 
I mean, just it's potential. She doesn't have to date him. He could also date what's her face. <gasps> oh, Teresa. Oh, no, no, no. He can't date Teresa. Oh, just kidding. I made that idea a couple weeks ago and I changed my mind. I don't want that to happen at all. Ugh, okay. Just kidding. She's a chef. Oh, wait. She's gonna be an art critic or a food. I don't know. We'll, we'll see. She's a chef though. And she has the, um, you know, food aspiration. There you go. Darcy Parfait, kids. I'm gonna fix her off camera, I promise. Just not right now because I don't want to, I don't have any desire to do that right now. But now we have Pippa and Andrew as young adults, and you know what that means. It means baby time. I'm such a bad person. Let's go ahead and do our last joke of the day coming in from Rainbow Sims. I feel like I pick this person's comments all the time. It's the same person. I don't know. Oh well. What is Forrest Gump's password? One Forest One. Get it? Because run, forest, run, but one forest, one. Do, do you understand? It is just so stupid. Max level on the piano skill. Who? Hold on, give me a sec. She's got max piano skill? She has no other skills but maxed piano skill. Me too. Okay, well, you know what it's time for, kids? Baby time. We're gonna have them come up here into Pippa's bedroom, and it would be really un- Oh, no, I- Oh, I seem to have pressed try her baby by accident. Oh, no. Oh, oh, dang it. Darn, man, it's too late now. What have I done? Oh, I accidentally had her try for a baby. Whoops. Can you believe that? Slip of the finger, you know? Dang, that's real unfortunate for them, not me. I don't really care. <laughs> this is seriously so exciting. I cannot wait for this to happen. Oh my God, what have I done? Okay, okay. Ugh, I'm a bad person, I'm a bad person, I'm a bad person. Okay, okay, this is, I, feel, I don't wanna watch this though. <laughs> like that's not a thing I wanna do right now. Okay, well, you know what? This, okay, let's talk this one out, all right? Because this girl, is like, we're gonna say, I don't wanna call it, okay, so I feel like I called Riley 18, but I don't think Pippa is 18. I think she's like 20, okay? She just turned 20, she's out of high school, and she's uh, being impregnated by Andrew. And that's not good. Oh, that is so extra. The romance festival is in town. What are the chances of that happening right now? Okay, the romance festival is in town. This is the only one I haven't been to yet. The romance festival. I'm not going to go to it right now because I don't want to do it in this LP for the first time. I'm going to do it in my friend's LP for the first time. But I have this, I've been to all of them. I went to all the festivals at Sims Camp, but I didn't get time to go to this one too. And so I'm so tempted, but I'm not going to spoil it for myself. But this, the chances of this happening right now are really funny. That's, I'm, I'm amused. Okay. <laughs> so... I mean, oh dear, look, oh no, oh, you know, she's feeling very ill. Wouldn't it be very tragic if she, oh, I don't know, got pregnant? <laughs> I can't wait for this to happen to me. Okay, guys, ready, ready? Pregnancy test. This is so exciting. Oh my god. Okay, guys, this is like what the, there's so many babies in this LP, but there's, the, I cannot believe, she's, she looks like a small little child still, but she's like 20. She's old. They're young adults now. I can't believe this. Taking a pregnancy test? Guys, if she's pregnant, oh no. <laughs> oh my god! Pippa, you're gonna have a baby! You're just a- you're just a baby. You can't have a baby. <sighs> I mean, you can't- clearly you can have a baby, but you shouldn't be having a baby. You don't have a job. Okay, you know what I'm gonna do? Her mom's gonna kick her out. Oh my god. Her mom's gonna kick her out. Her mom is gonna kick her out of her house. <gasps> no, this is iconic. Oh my God, I'm a bad person. Okay, guys, her mom is kicking her out of the, and her mom just caught her. Okay, so she wasn't gonna tell her mom for a while, but her mom just walked in on her telling Andrew, and now her mom is going to kick her out of the house. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. Oh no, caught in the act. Oh my God. Okay, okay, guys, guys. Do you know what this means? This means that she's being, oh, she's being cut off. Because Pippa's mom has always been like, Pippa, you're gonna go to college, you're gonna get a good job, you're gonna do all this stuff, and now she can't. I mean, she could, but she's not going to. So she's gonna, huh, all right, well, guess who just got cut off? That's right, Pippa, she gets to be sent off to live in San Myshuno in a dumpy apartment that she can't afford. Um, oh my God, oh my God. You, and she can't tell her dad, she, cause she doesn't talk to her dad, so she can't ask her dad for money, cause she she doesn't want to talk to him. So Pippa is now officially stuck with this baby and no money, 
and be okay it makes sense though right because she doesn't talk to her dad at all because she hates him for this baby like his baby mama drama like this thing she doesn't want to talk to him and she's being cut off by her mom who's very not happy with the fact that she's pregnant and so she's being forced to move to San Mishuno alone with Andrew but Andrew's kind of a flake and so if that something bad happens like sucks to suck where am I gonna put them um, can they afford this apartment? Lively neighbors, $1,000 deposit, 500 weekly rent. I mean, it's not so bad. It could be so much worse. They could live in this apartment, right? Or I could put them in like one of the real dumpy apartments. Like, I don't know. I, <laughs> guys, this, I, well, they can, you know, they can, they can afford this one. Um, but this is unfortunate for these guys because they don't have any money and now they've been placed in this sad little dumpy apartment and gonna have a baby and so we're gonna have her at our party tomorrow night and then everyone's gonna be like wait Pippa you're pregnant what I huh how what now and oh my god this is iconic I can't wait for her life to be ruined this is guys I'm such a bad person because I'm sitting here like getting so much joy from ruining her life like I just got her pregnant with a guy's baby who we know he's not going to be around for the baby's life like we know Andrew's gonna flake out like we know he's gonna like leave her in a second right and so yeah, <laughs> and here she is with this child and she's like five years old oh no I can't believe this actually I totally can't believe this this is definitely something that I would do oh my god okay guys guys I'm excited for her she, they're gonna have a baby oh this is so good and not really but like it's Gen 3, kind of, you know, the first baby of the the babies, so that's good, I guess. Um, it, it means that they're growing up, but also I'm, like, super sketched out of the fact that she's, like, five, and I, okay, so the goal for next week is to have Pip, eh, not Pippa's, whoa, to have Riley's party, Riley will age up, have a grand old time, and then we'll get her engaged sometime soon, um, while kind of having this, like, side storyline of Pippa and Andrew, they'll probably get, like, shotgun married and then, um, divorced. <laughs> real quick so there's that um i guess i want to hop into their house get them both jobs like get them settled and then we'll end the episode because i feel like it makes the most sense to do right right yes okay all right kids here we are in our sad little apartment oh no it i thought this was like dirt but it's just a dirty carpet at least okay the kid has a bedroom we have a bedroom it's got a nice view i mean they have everything they need here it could be so much worse it's just that um, oh, and the romance festival. Oh, wait, it's I'm, it's been spoiled for me. I don't want to go to that. I can't go to that. I'm busy having babies. <laughs> All right, so we're going to get her a job. Somebody was like, you should put her in the social media career. You know what? I feel like she's going to be like a mommy vlogger. Blogger, some kind of mommy blogger. She's going to have one of those mommy vlogs. You know what I mean? I feel like that makes the most sense, right? Like Pippa isn't going to work, but she can turn to the internet to make her monies. And so, I mean, she's going to work, I guess, but like social media career for Pippa. And then Andrew, I feel like has always been just sort of like on the track to get in the athlete career. I mean, actually, yeah, get a jumpstart. I don't know. I'm not going to play with them very much for real. They're not actually going to go to work, so I don't really care what they do. But I guess Andrew is going to work in the athlete career. But the thing is, he's got a kid to support now, so his dream is to be in the athlete career. But I don't think he can pursue that. Like, he needs to take up something more lucrative. It's early in the game, you know? So I feel like he might hop into, I don't know, what is something, like, I want, it to, I want him to, like, have to work in, like, insurance or something for a while. Like, hop into business, like, something that he does not want to do at all, but has to to take care of the kid. And that's going to make him want to leave even more. Like, he doesn't want to do this business career. He doesn't want to have to have a kid. Like, he doesn't want any of this. But he got stuck with it. And so he's going to hate Pippa. He's going to hate the kid. He's going to hate his life. And so, so will Pippa. And then they're just going to divorce. And oh my god, good, good, good times. Alright, business career for Andrew. He does not want to do this at all, but he has to. Okay, now... On that note, I'm going to go ahead and end this right here. I know things are getting intense. I'm so okay with this. But make sure to leave a like and comment and subscribe and do all those fun YouTube things. And in case you guys didn't know, I post new videos every single day. And so I will see you all tomorrow. Bye, everybody. I feel so evil, but it's so much fun. Like, I love ruining their lives. I'm a bad person, but also, like, it's so worth it. I don't know. Huh. Subscribe. <laughs>